Right now we've got an injury accident at Highway 385 and Highway 44, West Highway 44. Uh, Life Flight was called in. We had to shut down the intersection. Uh, we were turning people around at, at, that were coming in from all different directions. Right now we're looking, hopefully opening it up within the next 15 minutes or so. When you're out driving in the hills, I know that I know that Harley Davidsons are very loud, and that's part of the uh, part of the nostalgia of them. I would recommend keeping your radio down low so that you can you can hear above that noise. As I was traveling here today, and as as any law enforcement travels with their lights and sirens going, it's very very difficult sometimes to get or many times to get attention uh, from bikers that we're even right behind them. Uh, what we need to have happen is they need to be y'all need to be aware of what's going on around you. Keep looking in your rearview mirrors, uh, notice your surroundings and. and everything in the roadway uh, but keep the keep the radio turned down so that you can hear the siren uh, coming from behind you or maybe uh, approaching you uh, once you see that that law enforcement is coming with their lights and sirens you need to pull over as far off to the side of the road as you possibly can and you need to slow down uh, and, and come to a stop if necessary uh, so many times bikers just uh, are, are just straddling that fog line uh, that white line and uh, it Driving out in the hills, you're you're going over you're going over uh, hills, you're going around curves, uh, and if I have to drive into or me or any law enforcement officer has to drive into oncoming traffic uh, just to get around you, uh, you know that's unsafe obviously for oncoming traffic as well around a blind curve or a blind hill. Uh, so you need to pull all the way over as far as you possibly can, come to a stop if necessary. Uh, and yield to to uh, the lights and sirens of, of emergency vehicles. It's hard to get that communication going.